Hi. Let's talk about Nginx. Nginx is a web server that can also be used as a reverse proxy, load balancer, mail proxy, and HTTP cache. Here I am going to demonstrate Nginx as reverse proxy. What is a reverse proxy? A reverse proxy is an application that sits in front of a backend application and forwards client requests to those applications. Reverse proxy helps increase performance, scalability, and security. Here I'm going to demonstrate Nginx as a reverse proxy. As you see in the figure, we have three web servers and we will configure those as the backend of an Nginx server. Without further ado, let's get started. As you see, I have three websites and all are running on different IP addresses. I am going to install Nginx on my other server. IP address is 192.168.1.100. You have to open HTTP port and HTTPS if your firewall is running. You can see our Nginx server is running and rendering sent OS default page. Next, we need to install WinSCP for editing configuration files. Open WinSCP. Login to Nginx server. Go to Nginx configuration path. Nginx.conf is configuration file, you can edit that here, for this demo I am downloading and opening it in VS Code. In this configuration file, you can see some predefined entries, you have to know that. User as Nginx means, the application processes are run as that Nginx user. Worker process means, how many threads are needed to be allocated for Nginx. Auto means it will allocate up to all available threads. PID means process ID, it will store it at this file. Worker connection means the maximum allowed number of simultaneous connections, for example, if the worker process is 1, that means Nginx will allow maximum 1024 simultaneous connections. Next is the log format, you can see by default included the remote client IP address and user in the log. This is the access log location, which also you can modify. If you want to disable the access log then just comment. You can see some predefined settings here, we don't need to change. This is the main part of the configuration file. As you watched in Inro, we have two websites and here I am configuring example.com. Disable default page.
What does means, is whenever a hit comes to example.com then Nginx will route that to 150 machine. Copy the same codes for the next website. Here I am going to configure our next website mywebsite.com. This will pass to 200 server. There is a small difference than previous, here we have to root view page. We can copy the same codes here for view page. Whenever a hit comes to Nginx for view page then it will route to 250 server. Here we need to pass a DNS host entry for this demo, in a real world scenario, you have to route your website DNS records to public IP through your domain registry like GoDaddy. As you see I give a host DNS entry for both web servers to Nginx. Next, we have to replace existing config file with new one. Next restart Nginx server. Here we go. It is working as expected. My website is also working. Ah. Uh, got an error. This is the default error page of Nginx, it means something wrong in the configuration. Let's troubleshoot. Yes, here is the mistake. Let's try one more time, take a backup of existing file, this is a good practice. Let's restart once again. Finally, it is working. Exactly what is happening here, client requests for both websites are hitting on our Nginx server, and Nginx will route those requests to the appropriate servers, in the client's perspective, they can't identify which server is behind Nginx. Configuring SSL in Nginx is not a big task as you think. Just enable all. Copy your SSL certificate and key to this path.
both files we copied to server. I'm copying the same entries here. Here I'm securing only my website.com. Finally, we successfully installed SSL on our server. Thank you for watching, in the next video, we will show you how to make Nginx server as a load balancer, please like and subscribe if you felt this video is helpful.